everybody I just wanted to do uh, another quick uh, product review and a recipe for a peanut butter milkshake okay this product is the Farberware I don't know if you can see this single serve blender and I got this a while back I'm not sure where I got it maybe Amazon but I will put a link in the description box below um, where you can get it on Amazon and I've used this so many times and I absolutely love this thing um, I don't know if you're familiar with the um, Ninja or like the little Ninja blender that comes with a single serve one or the there's another one that's really expensive I don't know what it's called maybe the rocket blender or something like that <coughs> excuse me but anyway this one is for half the price of either one of those and probably less than half the price and it comes with four of the tall bigger cups and then two of the small ones and then you get all kinds of like attachments with it like it has two just like covers like if you want to make something and store it in your fridge or your cabinet or whatever <coughs> those just screw on and y'all have to excuse me because my allergies are really acting up today get a drink of water and it comes with I think four of these um, the rest of mine were in the dishwasher so this is just the covers that go over the tops of the cups just to make it look more like a cup they don't really screw down they just kind of sit on top of it it's not really necessary it's more aesthetic um, kind of cool and then it comes with two of the shaker lids where you could I guess like shred cheese or I don't know whatever you want to put in it to shake spices maybe or you know just anything <clears throat> and then two blades this one is just a flat uh, grinder blade this one is your blending blade I use this one most of the time um, I do this one sometimes if I am making like scrambled eggs because I I do scrambled eggs in this I'll put the eggs in here and with whatever I want to put in them you know if I want to add milk or sometimes I put sour cream or shredded cheese or something like that and you can just beat them up in here and it kind of helps to make the eggs the scrambled eggs a lot lighter and fluffier because it incorporates a lot of air into it and there's actually a bunch of recipes in the back of this little booklet and one of them is for scrambled eggs but there's like soups and pesto and bean dips and guacamole and just all kinds of stuff that you can do with it and the only note I will say is I don't know if you can see this or not but there's a line right here that says max you really don't want to go past that line when you're putting stuff in here because I've done this and nothing good happens what ends up happening is it all spills out inside the base and then you're stuck having to clean this out so that's there for a reason don't ignore it but anyway um, we're gonna get on to our recipe now I'm going to make a really easy get all this other stuff out of the way peanut butter quick and peanut butter milkshake that my kids absolutely love especially my son it's his favorite and there's this little gas station I used to go to years ago that had a like a little deli counter kind of in it where you could get burgers and hot dogs and deli sandwiches and stuff like that and they had the best peanut butter milkshakes and I've never really been able to get another one since then since that place went out of business and I don't live across town anymore and Sonic has peanut butter milkshakes and they're pretty good if you have Sonic around you but I just, just started making them at home myself and it's the simplest thing in the world but I forgot to grab my milk so I gotta grab the milk <clears throat> sorry guys I'm not on the ball today I stubbed my toe last night and I think I broke my little toe so it really hurts so I'm not moving real fast today okie doke we will get started here as, as I figure out what I did with my ice cream scoop it's over here okay I made one of these earlier and I normally don't put the peanut butter in first but for whatever reason this time I did that's not a good idea it doesn't blend up as well I guess because it's further away from the blades 
to help it, you know, mix throughout the ice cream. But first thing you're going to put is some vanilla ice cream. And this recipe is so simple. It literally just calls for vanilla ice cream, some milk, and some peanut butter. And depending on what kind of peanut butter you use, a lot of the natural peanut butters they have, I don't know, they're just, they don't seem to be as sweet. This particular peanut butter I'm using has honey in it. <clears throat> so I will not be using any additional sugar. Or if you're just wanting to cut down on your sugar too, then you don't need to add any more. I'm not going to make a really big one because most of the time I will do about six scoops of six to eight, depending on how big your scoops are, of ice cream in here. But I'm almost out of vanilla ice cream where I made a couple of milkshakes earlier. So I'm going to just make a small one this time. But normally I would do, because I think that was like maybe three scoops. Normally I would fill it up to the max line, put in a couple of tablespoons of peanut butter, and I just use, I don't even measure it out, I just use like one of these big spoons. And then anywhere from a fourth of a cup to a half of a cup of milk, depending on how creamy you like your shakes or how thick you want your shake. Um, I'm not, obviously not going to put as much because I don't have as much ice cream in here, and I'm probably only going to put about a spoonful of peanut butter this time. But, once again, that's kind of a to-taste thing. If you want a, you know, stronger peanut butter flavor, then add a little more. If you want just a hint of it, don't put as much. And this is a half a cup measure, and I'm going to, I don't normally use these kind of measuring cups for liquids, but it was handy. I'm going to start out with about a fourth of a cup of that. Because that ice cream is pretty so soft already. I've left it sitting out already. Next, we're going to screw our lid on. <clears throat> Get our base here. And another thing I'll add to you before I start blending this, because it's kind of loud. You don't want to just, like, sit here and let this run forever, because it will burn your look just like with any blender how you kind of sometimes want to pulse it or you know or just leave it on there for so many seconds and then stop it because you will burn the motor up in it it's a really great device I haven't had any problems with it getting hot or anything like that but you know I, I wouldn't want to push it either so we're gonna blend it up I kind of tilt the camera up here so you can see and you could definitely lighten up this recipe too. You could use, like I said, a more natural peanut butter or I definitely like peanut butters with no sugar in them. You could use non-fat milk, um, frozen yogurt, or a sugar-free ice cream. Any way like that to lighten it up. But And this makes like, really this is a huge milkshake. This would be like a large milkshake if you made a whole thing of this. It's a lot to drink. It's really probably more for like two people. Because I do protein shakes and smoothies and these a lot of times too. And I'll split them. Like me and my daughter will split one. Or me and my son. Because it makes quite a bit. But we're going to get it blended. And then sometimes I literally take it out. Just kind of give it a shake. You don't have to. That's just me. You can kind of turn it off and on by giving it a little pulse. And then we'll shake it back down where everything will settle. And you may get like this some peanut butter on the sides because, I mean, it's peanut butter. It sticks to everything. You're not going to get it 100% blended up. And I really don't care if there's a little peanut butter on the side of the cup. So, no big deal. And I personally, because this tends to drip, I kind of tap it like that. It kind of gets all that off. And as you can see, grab a spoon. The consistency is pretty good. It's not super thick. I didn't really want it super thick though. But that did about half the container. So you can see if you did twice that much, because I think I said what three scoops of ice cream if you did the six, and then another tablespoon of peanut butter and a little more milk, or if you want your milkshake thicker than a little less milk, then you would have had a, a full container, which would easily make two milkshakes, or one really large milkshake for someone who wanted a lot. But, 
Mm, the peanut butter taste is amazing. It tastes so good. <clears throat> and of course, if you have a milkshake, you must add some whipped cream. Because you can't have a milkshake without whipped cream. And next we will add in a straw. And I will let you see the finished product if you can see down in there. So I am going to go drink this milkshake because I did not have one earlier. So anyway, I hope you like the video. If you have any questions, um, I can do a chocolate one for y'all too if you want an easy chocolate um, milkshake recipe. I might do one of those later. And I also have another product review for a really unique product that I think you'll like that I will also be uploading after this video. So I will see you guys in the next video and check us out for more videos. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be posting a lot of new stuff. Oh, I have a new, I have a new grill. So I made your review on my new grill because I'm in love with it. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye.